Okay. What's going on guys? Me, Davey here back for another shave, but I'm not the one shaving. As you can see, we actually got her ass out of the den, out of the dungeon. She's here, live and in Technicolor. Mm, Technicolor. Technicolor. Technicolor was like about 70 years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm not that old. Well, I wouldn't know. Either way, so Rosil's here for a shave, as promised. And um, I I'm excited. I get the warm and fuzzies when she's in here. I know you guys like it. So here's a little treat for you guys on the channel. Hi, guys. Sorry it took so long. Um, Two years. All right. Sorry it took so long, guys. Uh, ignore him, please. He's like my bodyguard today. He's a little too close, you know? Usually he's off to the side over there. I don't know what the deal is right now. She likes me all <laughs> close. New. All up inside. New. Ew. Not that, not that kind of show, dude. Um, so we're going to just have to deal with David right here. Kind of get away from him a little. Um, but uh, yeah, guys, I'm sorry it, it took so long. I don't think it's been two years, but it has been a while. Uh, life, you know, I actually have things to do throughout this coronavirus situation. I've been working. I haven't stopped working. Uh, my hours did get cut. Sadly, uh, I work in construction, so although we are not the medical professionals that, you know, the essential, you know, workers, of course, and thank you to them, and obviously, you know, Brave it, and they are heroes, and, and I've known a couple that actually ended up contracting because, you know, they were out in the front line, so they are heroes. Um, I'm not one of those, but I am essential, you know, and, and, and you know, I, I have been working and keeping up, you know, the You're economy. essential to my life, babe. To the economy. No, not so much you, buddy. No, you need me to pick up your underwear and socks, but no, that's why I'm essential to you. But I am essential, so, but I have been working. So, um, been busy, you know, and then we have a house full of people that are in quarantine. Don't know if David mentioned, did you mention? The yeah. Situation? Okay, yeah. so yeah, so we did have. More uh, slightly to your right. To my right. So we're right. trying to get you centered. There you go. Sorry, I can crop it a little bit, but a little bit. It's been a while, guys. It's been, it's been a while, so bear with me. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, a, a, it's a new camera. It's a whole new setup from the last time you've done it, so. Yeah, so um, bear with me. Bear yeah, with so me. I'll, I'll get there. I'll get there. Um, yeah, so it's been busy. We've been busy. Um, house full of uh, family members feeding us, you know, making sure we don't go out, making sure we don't, you know, we're not out there and staying home. So, needs to say, it's been, it's been a hectic uh, month and a half, two months. So, um... Good news is we're all good. Everything, everyone's good. Everyone's great. Um, my daughter-in-law is back at work. She's doing great. My son, no, well, although we're pretty sure he did contract it. I mean, he does live with, you know, they're in the show's in room. He never showed any symptoms. So, and nobody in the house shows symptoms besides, besides her. So, but she's great. She's doing so much better. We're very, very proud of her. She, it was, it was tough for a little while there. Just real quick, because... Your videos, there's no if ands or buts about it. Your videos get thousands oh, sorry, of views sorry. usually. Oh, I thought you said it. I, I go on and talk to one. Sorry. Oh no, actually, that's not the problem. Uh, just there's gonna be a lot of new viewers or people that haven't visited the channel while they probably don't know. So just a quick background: our, our daughter-in-law got the coronavirus. She tested positive. Yes. Yeah, she tested positive for the coronavirus, and it hit her pretty hard. She's uh, 20, so she is young, and 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 for the most, we knew she would be able to overcome this, but it was tough. She had. Um, Breathing. Real struggle, struggle, struggle breathing. Uh, probably almost a full two weeks of her not sleeping through I the night. Think more, uh, yeah. Really struggling with that. So it was a little scary and all that. But again, now back to where she was at already with the story. She's better. She just went back to work yesterday. It was her first day back. Yeah. Um, and it took about a, a cool month for everything to get back to yes. okay. So so. Just to, yeah, just to even semi-normal. But yeah, we're good. So thank, thank, thank God Almighty. So, uh, that's why I haven't been around too much. I mean, I've been around. I know you guys have heard me, you know, heckling David when he's doing his videos because he says something's just straight out dumb or something. But uh, I'm here now. So, I am going to um, start coming out, do more videos. Um, it's something that I think we need in the shave community. Uh, women. Women shaving. I mean, that is something that um, we do. We, we're not out there like you guys, but we do do it. And um, if there are any women, and I always say it, if there are any women that are have any questions, um, f please feel free to, to contact me. Um, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not a lot on Facebook. And a lot of people know because it's just a, a, lot of, a lot of just nonsense on Facebook. 
but uh, you can always message me. Uh, I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. A little background, I've been shaving since I was 15. So way before this got semi or whatever popular, I, I have been shaving since then. Uh, I'm talking about my face, my facial obviously, besides my legs and all that, um, my face. So, and I am a shower shaver. Usually I shave in the shower. It's just easier. I'm used to it. I can do it with my eyes closed. But uh, once in a while, you know, I, I do like to, to shave, brush, soap, loading, all that good stuff. Um, so I'm going to do that today. So again, any, any questions, guys, feel free to contact me directly, okay? Or you can contact David and you can press the message over. We have to be weary about we fucking telling people to contact you directly because we get some weird motherfuckers. Messages. Yeah, but, you know, I'm usually pretty good at uh, weeding them out. So, but yeah, so if you're, so if you're a weird motherfucker, you're going to be weeded out. How about that? So, all right, guys. So today I'm going to be using. Oh, my my notes are up here, guys. Zengar Zengari man. Sorry, I said it wrong. I don't think you've looked at the camera one time. I have been looking. It's right there, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's, right <laughs> there. it's right there, right there. You got the googly eyes going on. I do. I like. Is my lazy eye coming out? Yeah. Oh bit. crap! Sorry, guys. Mm. Uh, Zengari man, uh, the healers. This is one of those uh, limited edition, right? Yeah, limited edition. Yeah, limited it was edition. meant for the purposes of a fundraiser. And actually, I, I uh, seen Heather say today yeah, there it is. she has a, around a thousand dollars that she earned from the from the sale. Do you know what the money's going towards? It's two separate. It's two separate charities, and the charity names are a little long, so my memory is not good enough for that. Okay. But she did release where they're going. I'm sure you could probably find him or uh, find that information either on the Singari Man IG, or if you've purchased a soap directly from Zingari Man website. You also can join the Zingari Tribe Instagram page where she does a little bit more of the lives and kind of asks for more questions, gets you more involved in the process of making her her, her, her product. Yeah, um, this, the notes on this one right here is citrus, pineapple, and cucumber, which are very fresh smells. And it, it smells really good. It smells, uh, smells like candy to me. Very That's bright, very yeah. sweet. It smells very like bright, candy. very sweet. Anthony Esposito loved it, and mm -hmm. so did CDB. Okay, yeah, so, I mean, it's, it smells... Great, and as far as I understand, her soaps uh, are really good, really great quality. East, it must be an East Coast thing where dudes like their sweet, girly scents. Uh, they don't have to be girly, dude. Well, I, they really don't have bit. to be girly. You just bit. you got to be a dick about it. But um, all right, uh, all right. So I'm gonna load it. So oh, my brush, my brush. Shout out West Coast Shaving. West Coast Shaving. I call it my mermaid brush. Uh, I, I'm sure that's not the actual name of it. That's what I call it. I know David's uh, actually done videos with this one before. Yeah, one or two. I, I loaned him my, my girl brush. Uh, but it's a synthetic. I, I don't like uh, badgers and all that because you have to load them. You have to soak them. You have to do all this. You got to you know. load the synthetic Well, I meant to too. say you have to soak them in for a while for the, you know, the hair to get soft and stuff. So synthetic. I don't have time. I do not have time to be screwing around. Can so. right, please? Still? Yeah, you keep floating. If I if I do this, I'm gonna cover you. So maybe that's a good thing. No, right, right now where right you're there. standing is absolutely perfect. You just don't right here? stop moving. Maybe you should put a freaking X on the floor, dude. Is that will that make you feel better? No, because then you'll every two seconds you'll look down at the X. Shut the fuck up. All right, guys. So I'm gonna load this, and you're gonna load it pretty heavy. More pressure down. We're gonna do pretty heavy. Do I show them on the loading it or what? Nah, you don't really have oh, to. Okay. Uh, Rosil does one pass. Yeah, and I know. And then she does a cleanup pass after that point. So she does. She's not gonna load as heavily as probably most of you guys are. Nah. Um, but um, again, soap is cheap. We have a lot of it. You might as well load heavy and make sure you get in good shape. There's no reason to cheap out on that shit. I um, I'm a girl, and so my hair, the hair that grows back is super thin, not thick. And women, uh, just so you know, uh, it is a myth that your hair is gonna grow back thicker, longer, and you're gonna become a sasquatch. Not true. I mean, if your legs for, do grow back, you know, thick and hairy, that's not the same as your face. It doesn't work that way. It's also, that's a hormonal thing. Yeah. Remember, shaving, all the actions happening on the surface of your skin. Yeah, so. So, it, it, the thickness of your hair is going to be all biological. Now, if yeah. you're a woman and you're growing a goatee, I'm sorry, that's your hormone. You gotta go see a doctor. That's something else. You, gotta, you, gotta go you might have an issue with your thyroid. FYI, that's that's something, yeah. But um, so yeah, so that's a myth. It's a myth. You're not gonna grow more hair. You're not gonna go thicker for the most part, like we were saying. So, um, I do not need to be passing five, four, whatever times. Okay, so whatever you guys do, I don't have to do that. So, 
I'm still loading because I want it nice and thick. Like David says, you want it to look closer to like sour cream? Sour cream. Some people say yogurt, some people say sour cream. Um, I think sour cream represents it a little bit better because I think sour cream is slightly runnier than, than yogurt. That's and I think if it looks like sour cream, I think you really got it properly hydrated and you're really going. Okay, so when I do this, do I look at the camera or do I look over here? That's where I'm confused. Well, when you're doing actual, you're shaving stuff, go ahead and look where you need to. If, if you want to look at if you want if you want to look at the mirror, go ahead. Am I supposed to look right here? No, right here. Wherever you want. I'm looking at the mirror, guys. Screw it. Sorry. Hmm. Nice, right? Mm -hmm. Is it better than last time? Yeah, don't be scared to press. No, I mean better than last time. Mm -hmm. You see, you see, you notice that the more you press down, it starts to release a little bit more of that lather, and you see a little bit more of the moisture that's been trapped inside the bristles. Like I said, I don't do this very often, guys. I I do it in the shower. I do it. I do use the soap. You know, um, but honestly, I don't use a brush. Yeah, I don't use a brush. There's no need to use a brush. I'm not in the shower. I mean, you just can't see and I don't have the time. So when it comes to the, to the sideburns here, what I do is I try to lift as much as close to the skin as possible. Oh, I got some in my ear. Oh. So that um, afterwards, you know, they can kind of fall naturally or tr a natural look. You know what I mean? Okay. Am I still in the shot, David? Yes, you are. There you go. Okay, and here I go with the sideburns, right? So the reason why she lifts up the sideburn hair because if you let it, lay them down flat, much like my own sideburns, if you've seen any of my videos, it'll leave a complete straight line. You can tell you you shaved and you can tell that you made that perfect line. Even, yeah. By, lay, by lifting up those hairs, she shaves she shaves the hair that's underneath. So you still got a clean surface here when you're applying makeup, but then when you drop a few of those hairs down, now it still maintains a natural look. Yeah. So you're not able to see, like, once you get closer to the hair, that's when you're going to start seeing stubble. Exactly. Now, I have no problem telling anyone that asks, and, and nobody's ever looked at me and said, hey, do you shave your face? Like, because they notice. I've never once in my 40, well, I'm 43, but um, since I was 15 shaving, um, have ever been asked, hey, do you shave your face, All right? No, never, because it, you can never tell. Um, but, right up a little bit right here. But, um... I still wanted to look natural. And so if you ask me, have I shaved my face? Or do I shave? I will tell you. I, I'm the first one to say, yeah. I remember, guys, a lot of, there's been a lot of talk, especially with the straight razor shaving, in terms of stretching the skin. You don't have to grab mm -hmm. and tug on your skin real tight. Mm -hmm. Sometimes just shifting your mouth a little bit will be enough. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have wrinkly bulldog skin, if you're an older gentleman, 70s, maybe some of you old guys look really old at 56. You might have knows, to. You may have to stretch a little bit more. But for, especially for you younger folks, your skin's still a little tight. Just a little bit of movement, a little bit of use of the tongue will get you more than enough stretching to get a nice clean shape. And women know that like when we shave our, our legs on the knee part, um, you don't bend your knee and shave it on, on that angle. What you do is you put your leg down and shave over that, you know, so it's it's not stretched out at all, you know. So we, we already know that. So now that's the first pass. And what I do after that, really, usually in the shower, I will, oh, man, I got my shirt dirty. Um, I will clean myself. Mm. It's easier in the shower, okay? Everything is in the freaking shower. Right. I'm going to clean myself. Nice. And I'm using uh, a little bit of warm water. Okay, that's hot. There you go. Oh, once that water gets hot, it gets hot. It gets hot. really I'm hot. I've run the shit on myself a couple times, and I play it off, I play it off the best I can, but there's been a couple of rough ones. And you're supposed to let the water run first, dummy. I'm trying to get a, a towel, so I'll just, I have some napkins on here. You have some napkins. Okay. Oh my 
gosh. It was so hot today over here, guys. So I am surprised my makeup even held up. Oh, so hot today. Like 90 something degrees in LA. Yeah, it was hot. <sighs> Freaking hot. Okay. So now I kind of do this in the shower. It's a little smoother. So I kind of do this to make sure I didn't miss anything. And I don't think I did. Oh, my ear. And I did it. And if you see, like, the sideburns, I mean, if you can tell a little bit, I don't know. I don't think you can. You know? The hair's still light for you right there, but it does fall naturally. Mm -hmm. You can't tell. There's no manufactured line. Right. Uh, right, right there by the razor blade. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then she did send us a uh, Heather. Uh, sent us a Zangari Aftershave Balm Unscented. And I know it's unscented, but, I mean, I like balms. I know David doesn't, but I do. You know, we women put on lotion. We do lotion all the time. And I'll, I always like putting something afterwards. Usually balm. Did I do something here? What? I've been biting my nails all day and my skin. Oh, actually, I think you, you, you may have popped a little pimple on your nose. You got a little blood. Oh, there you go. Okay. I do. Oh, gross. There you go. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I always put something on because, um, you know, our skin, women, we need to hydrate our skin, especially as we get older. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the benefits of, of shaving also, I'm sure women have heard it, but yeah, makeup goes on smoother. When you put on your makeup, it goes on smoother. Uh, models do it. They've been doing it for ages. Marilyn Monroe supposedly used to do it. So, I mean... Yeah, like I said, they, they, they know the tricks, right? So, okay, there it is, guys. Um, what else do I do after this, David? You're, you're all done. Uh, you put the bomb, you got straight to the point. So yeah. that pretty much wraps it up, guys. Yeah, straight to the point, guys. As per the usual, we, you know, we appreciate you guys coming by. Yeah, um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do more videos. Oh, I didn't talk about the razor. It's one of my favorite. Had it for a while. Ooh, look over here, right? Sorry. I've had it for a while. It's the Razor Rock Stealth Slant. Right? Yep. So, I've had it for forever and ever. I used to have, the one before this was the PAA... Bakelite Slant. Yeah. And what happened to that one? You lost it at my mother's house. Nothing gets lost. Let me put it this way. Or my mother stole it. One yeah, it's just one, uh, one changed owners. Put it that way. Yeah, she wet shaves too. We've gotten uh, his mom to wet shave. My daughter wet shaves. My son's been wet shaving since he was, you know, 12. He actually uh, started with, um, um, what do you call it? Straight razor. Straight razor. You know, now he does a DE. It's just faster. Well, no, no, he, he, no, no. he actually uses the straight razor. He's straight razor much again, more often yeah. than I actually thought he would. Yeah. He, uh, he took off to San Francisco to go to college. I've talked about it before, but again, mm -hmm. this is going to receive viewers that I don't normally have. We have yeah, we uh, have three kids mm -hmm. the 24, 22, and the baby's 20, maybe 21. He's a, he's going to San Francisco State University. And when he left, he was using more DE, but when he came back, uh, I think he found an appreciation a little bit more. Uh, for the straight, straight razors, razors especially because he grew some facial hair and the benefits of being able to line them up real yeah. clean with a straight razor it's just nice it's it's pretty convenient once you get a hold uh, a handle on the razor and he has a pretty good handle on it so yeah he just you know he's realized that it's, it's beneficial i don't know how to straight razor i never even tried it honestly but i'm thinking i'm going to learn i would like to learn it's something that you know i would a lot of people would want to learn so i want to learn so David said he's going to teach me. And so we'll, that's something, another video for another time. Uh, we'll start documenting that as well. And hopefully I don't slip my throat. And if I do, it'll make for a really good video, huh? So, all right, guys. So any questions, uh, feel free to contact us. Um, otherwise, please stay safe. Stop talking, guys. Hey, sorry. So many rules. Uh, stay safe. Um, stay at home as much as you can. It saves lives. So, uh, yeah. Uh, take care guys thank you so much for being here and just lastly man if you guys made it to this point of the video again we do appreciate you comment down below for anything and if join you have, if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe mm -hmm. stay safe stay healthy and we'll catch you on the next shave bye guys